What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Bass Union. Today I'm on Lake Orville and I'm going to show you guys how to catch fish with a darter head. So first of all, I'm going to show you my setup that I have it on, um, the rod, the reel, line, and show you how we rig it. So if you're coming out to Orville and you don't have a darter head rigged up, you're, you're missing the boat. It's just one of, those, one of those baits that you have to have tied on, and <sighs> this thing's been getting chewed. Um, so. I have a setup. I'm throwing a Dobbins Champion. This is 732. I don't know if you can see that. I got Chang behind the camera. Thanks, buddy. And got a Daiwa Regal LT spinning reel. 10 pound braid, about 20 feet of six pound fluorocarbon leader. I don't know if you could see this, Chang. I'm throwing, this is a quarter ounce dart head. And today, I noticed I've been getting bit on a morning dawn jackal crosstail shad. Is that what it's called? I think it's called a crosstail shad, yeah. But this little guy's been getting bit. And I'll show you to demonstrate kind of how I work this thing and how I fish it. Up in the middle fork of Lake Orville, we have a lot of steep bluffs. Um, big old rock, sand, you know, it's just a mixture of all sorts of different types of terrain. So what this dart head does, I don't know if you could see this in the water chain. When it's in the water, if you give it a pop, it kind of gives it an erratic action. It kind of bounces back and forth, hence the name darter head. So when you cast this thing out there and you let it hit the bottom, once you see your line go slack, it's just, it's, it's not sinking anymore. If you give it little pops, it'll do that. And I'm telling you, it's been driving the fish crazy this morning. I've probably boated, what, 15, 20 fish in a matter of an hour, just, just goofing around with this thing. So let me show you kind of how I, how I work this thing. So I toss it out there, let it hit the bottom. I see my line goes limp. I know it's on the bottom. And once that happens, I give it one pop. Let it hit the bottom, watch my line. It's sinking, it's go slack, pop. And you wanna do this consecutively. Once you see it stop sinking, give it a pop, pop. And work it just about all the way back to you. Go shallow and work back. So right now I'm probably 20, 20 plus feet and I'm working it back and I started in like 510. And as it keeps coming closer to me, it's getting deeper and deeper. Oh, that's a rock. I'll show you a little trick that I do because this has an exposed hook. So I always have these little knockers. I've done previous videos in the past, but just take like a little chunk of lead. This is a one ounce cannonball that I make. Put a snap on there. I'm telling you, this will save, it'll save your butt. Then you don't get scared to lose stuff. You'll put the bait down where the fish are actually at. You slide down the line, let it hit. telling you guys like that 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 you do that throughout the day you're gonna save a lot of money <clears throat> there we go see I didn't feel that fish bite just on the pot. See, it's really just a reaction bite. You know, you're not down there shaking it and waiting for the fish to bite. You're really just making a bite. 
See, you got that little bastion dart head. But he got it though. And when you're popping it, you automatically just set the hook on them. Eh, not big, but beautiful fish. <laughs> Let's let them go. So I just snapped off and retied another one. Uh, like I said, throwing a quarter ounce. Uh, we haven't been bit for a minute, so I'm gonna tie on a, put on a different color, different style of worm, maybe like a robo worm. Um, go six inch, see if I have any morning dawn. They, they seem to like that color out here. A bag of goodies. Ah, I got one close. Who's this? Who's this color? This is the people's worm. Kind of like an ox blood. A little blue, blue lateral line down it. Can you see that, Shane? Looks good. Hopefully the fish like it too. It says a 90 degree, two watt must add hook on there and has a little little keeper. So what you want to do when you're looking at your worm, the flat side's your bottom and this round side's your top. So you want ultimately, you want this worm, the top, to look kind of like that, if you guys can see that. So keep in mind when it's like that, where the hook's coming out. So you want to run that hook out right there. So when you, when you thread it, through the nose and you want it as straight as possible. You come out at the top. Go over that keeper. That's it. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Uh, you know, dart head, like I said, is something I always have tied on, ready to go. It's, it can catch you a lot of fish, get you numbers and get you quality. If you like this video, hit that like button, comment, let me know what's your favorite worm that you throw on the back of a darter head or a favorite bait. It doesn't have to be a worm. It could be, it could be any, any piece of plastic, but comment below. Let me know. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and pick up some of our new fishy t-shirts. They're on pre-order right now. I have a link in the description, get them. We'll have them in stock within a few weeks and we'll have them shipped out. We'll see you guys in the next one.